James Holder, Eiffel TV, in association with MTK Global. With me, I've got Sam Egerton after his destructive eighth round KO over Paulie Malinaji. Brutal body shot to end the fight, Sam. Talk me through it a little bit, buddy. Um, I, I, you know, I like the body shots. It, 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 it's evident in when I fight, you know. I, I got um, Gavin with a body shot. The same body shot at the start, he went down and got back up, and I just got um, Paulie Malinaji with that same body shot. with a bit more flush. Um, like I just said to these, oh, when people go down, I automatically turn around to go to the corner. I don't have a look to see if you know they're down, but they're going to get back up. So I kind of walked off. I kind of looked again, thinking he won't get back up yet. <laughs> you know, you never know. But um, you know, it, it worked flush. It's it, it, one of my favourites. You know what? You know, I don't like to tell everyone. You know, on IFL TV, but you know, the, the little right uppercut, left up to the wide end. You know, it works. You know, nine out of ten times. And if you get it spot on, you know, it shows you what it does. You beat someone today who was world champion when you first started boxing. He's had been in 10 world title fights. He's a big, big name. He's been there and done it. How much confidence and how much how much do you take away from, from tonight's win? You know what? I, I take more from this, you know. Because um, everyone can have hard fights, you know, grueling fights, and I'm known, you know, I'm known to, to enjoy them. But when you find someone like Paulie Malinaji with the experience and the ring craft and, the, you know, just... The sense of the ring, you know, he's been round, like you just said, he's had 10 world title fights, he's won two, two world title fights. So, you know, just to beat someone with that ring craft and that ring knowledge, you know, it, it, it's more it's more of an like, advantage than actually beating someone and just blowing them out, if you know what I mean. So, the fact that I got out, I got rid of him, you know, with, a, with, a, with a, I suppose a clever shot, you know, with a fake and then... You know, it, it, it's a boost, massive boost of confidence, and you know, I'll, I'll go from here. Fourth, end of the fourth or fifth round, you've done that thing you do when yeah. you get hit, you don't move your head, you convince yourself that your chin's made of concrete, and yeah. you let someone tee off on you. You let Paulie hit you about. He did, he did it looked not. like a twenty punch combination for where I was sitting. Did you feel steady when them shots landed? Uh, I felt. Well, it was. He did hit me at the start. He caught me. I don't know what it was. I think he said he, you know, he fainted one two, and then he catches. He, he said the interview. Be right after it, like. Because I'm because I'm stiff with my head movement and my hands up, and he did catch me. And it wasn't so much a, um, a dangerous shot, but I felt it catch me. You know, you know when it blinks, you know, it kind of flashed. I weren't in any trouble, but I know he thought that you know that it was it was an opportunity. So I kind of let him have his swing. You know, I didn't expect the bow to go. I thought he'd have his swing, and then I'd go back at him after it. You know, but the bow went, and he seemed to come out at the end at the start of the last next round. With a bit more up, and that, that obviously is good for me because you know these runners, you know they're not, they're boring, and you know I, you know I have to get hold of them. But if I, he, he had a few shots at the end of that round, and he come back out thinking he could do it again, and that that, that benefited me because he was coming at me then. So you know it all worked. But like I say, I, I'm a massive fan of Paulie Manor. The whole team are. They've watched him. And, you know, so um, I'm not going to slag him. I, I like his boxing. I like him, and you know, I'm just glad that I got the win and we can go on tonight. Would Would you like to see Paulie Malinaji Malinaji retire at this point I in mean, his career, or do you think he's got enough to go on, Sam? From what I, can't, I can't say that. I can't. Say, I'm not him. I can't feel what he's feeling. I think he had enough. I mean, he, he was sharp. Caught me with some straight rights on their own. So, you know, I'm not the fastest. You know, I'm not the, the most slick. But caught me some straight rights. Caught me some. You know, one twos. He had a few good body shots. Um, I think he's. I think he's slick. I mean, I wouldn't like to see him. You know, start becoming a gatekeeper. And, you know, these kids are coming up and blitzing him. But you know, I think he's got a bit left, no doubt. But I'm bound to say that. So, you know, we'll see what he does. I mean, it's all up to him. Massive credit for yourself for the win tonight. Not taking nothing away from the performance, but do you feel you would have beat? The Paulie Malinaji of five years ago on tonight's performance. Um, I mean, I think so. I mean, you know, it, it, I still, I, I mean, he's, if anything, he's clever. I didn't out fight him. I didn't. I went. I went. I went fit him. I didn't drag him out over twelve rounds and stop him late on. I was, I was like, it was a clever shot. So if it catches him at this point, you know, I'm presuming it would have caught him then. But, um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I can't really comment on that. It, it, it's all up to him. I mean, maybe. I'm, we can never. We'll never know. He's only ever lost. I'd have been. I'd, I'd have been. I'd have been. Um, you know, seventeen, five years ago. So it'd have been. It'd have been a funny old fight. So. And you'd have been middleweight. Yeah, yeah. I was a middleweight at seventeen. So you saw a little fat boy man. I do think that my way at that, that time.
We saw Barry Hearn come in today. He's been very supportive of you in the past and highly critical of you <coughs> at yeah. times today. How good did it feel to have his support, um, his, his full sort of his full appreciation of your performance and, and yeah, what you did in the ring? Me and the team are constantly um, giving Barry Hearn his props because you know not a lot of people saw me on the way up and thought you know we'll grab hold of him. Um, so for Barry to, to do that and, and take me to where he's to where he's gone, where we are. You know, I can't thank him enough. You know, wouldn't between, have happened without him. Exactly, and between Barry and Eddie, they've they've um they've sorted us out good fights, good big titles, and you know we're on the rise, and we're just you know we're just enjoying it as we go. Now EBU title, hopefully Spanish kid Rodriguez, Sierra Rodriguez. He's got a very impressive record. Yep. Do you feel he can be brought over and enticed to come over to the UK, or um, are you willing to travel? How would that work from here? Like I say, mate, I'm I'm not bothered where I go. Um, there's four pe there's, there's two people in the ring, you know, when when it comes down to it, and, and there's me and him. So um, if 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 they win the purse bids and it, and it goes there, then we go to Spain. It don't really bother me. Um, if if we win and it's in England, then it's in England. The fact is, you know, between the rocks, it's just me and him, mm -hmm. and, and we go from there, really. So do you see that as your next fight? Is that what you'll be pushing um, for? Will I mean, you like be speaking say, to Barry about that? You know, I was speaking to some um, Span the Spanish kid that that for um, not the Spanish kid, the Spanish kid that for Salvi, his team. He he sorts out another Spanish kid, and he was saying that he was messing around with him. I heard he messed Malinardi around before this fight. He messed us around, you know, doing. So you can't really say really. I don't know what he's up to. This 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 um, European champion. He's, he's looking for a lot of money, obviously, because he's going between camps and you know sorting fights out. I need to call him off and call someone else. So I can't really say. But I, that's a fight I won, of course. You know, the European title is. It's a massive title and it's one I'd like to keep in the cabinet, no doubt. Hey Gattini, congratulations yes. on Thanks your win. Keep on grinding them out, mate, and we'll catch Thanks you soon. Thank you very much for your time. Cheers, pal.